as you can tell from the title of the video, uh, I'm going to be going over kind of how to transition from beginner block building that I teach in my Roo method tutorial to more intermediate block building so you can improve. So by no means will this video be all encompassing of everything you need to learn. It'll just be like a general guideline of what cases to look out for and what changes you need to start making in yourselves to get faster. Uh, at this point, you should probably have been using the beginner block building method for, I don't know, maybe a week or a couple weeks and be averaging about a minute to a minute and a half. And then you should be pretty ready to start making some changes to your solves. So let's get started. So let me just scramble this up a bit more. So uh, the beginner method, I'm just going to show what I what I teach people to do. So first you want to attach the blue white edge to the blue center like that. Then you want to find the blue red and put it in the loading spot here then you want to find the corner that goes with it bring it here so it matches up match them and then solve them and then you'd repeat the same thing with the other edge so we see that's here we can bring it to the loading spot like this this corner we can bring it to the top and this corner we can match with this edge of the loading spot and then we can bring it into the back that might have been a bit fast for you but if you've been using the beginner method for a week or two uh i hope you'll be able to follow along with that and as you can see, that was a lot of moves. And the reason for that is because this is a very restrictive way of solving blocks since it always forces you to put the edge here and then bring the corner to the top. While there's actually thousands of different ways to solve pairs, this kind of force you to, forces you to do it in this one exact way where you just have corner, edge here, and you do a middle move. So my question for you is what would you do if you have the corner here and the edge here? Well, the loading spot method tells you to bring this to the loading spot, which is here. So you do M2. Okay, now uh, the next step in the loading spot method is to do M prime to match these up. However, you can see you just three moves in the same direction. Whereas what you can actually do here is just one move because we can see that this is just going to pair up with this. So you might have been started noticing these, but a lot of redundancies like these can happen. Similarly, if you have like this up here, instead of doing like M prime, M prime, you can just do M2 because it's the same thing. So you don't always have to think about the loading spot as being here. Also, let me just scramble this a bit more. The loading spot doesn't just have to be in the front. You can use the back, the opposite side as a loading spot. So as we can see, this is here. So instead of doing M prime, U prime, M prime to match these up, you can just do U prime, blue, orange, and pretend this is your loading spot in the back, and then you just do M2, and then they match. So you can use the front as the loading spot, and the new additional trick is that anything on the M slice can kind of be a loading spot, including this one in the back right here. So you can start implementing that into your solves with uh, very little effort. Also, I think um, what you may have noticed from using the beginner method is that you either end up with one of two different pairs and this is basically what you're trying to build. So you can end up with the pair like this where it's red on top, in which case you have to do R wide prime F or you end up with this case where it's blue on top where you just do F prime. So if you, let's go back to this red pair at first. So if we just move this around to see where it can be, we can see a lot of different things. So if we start with it here, and let's just say uh, we want to learn how we can bring the pair to this, this position. So if we just do an F prime, we realize, oh, if we have this pair here, we can do an F to get it where we want to, it to be. If we do an R prime, we can see, oh, we can just do an R to pair this up. Or if the corner's there, we can do an R prime. Or if the corner's back there, we can do an R2. So what I'm trying to say with this is that it doesn't matter how you get to this position. It just matters that you get here. So it doesn't always have to be loading spot M prime. It can be from there, you can bring it down. It can be even the corners in the back right here and you just do a B move to pair it up. It can be from here, you can have this corner there. You can match it up there. So I think what you're noticing here is that there's a bunch of different loading spots all around the cube uh, where you can hide the edge, you can hide the edge back there, you can hide the edge on the middle layer, you can hide the corner in the bottom. Say you have something like this, or something like this, where you have this over here, this over here. What you can actually do is pretend this is a loading spot, bring the corner down, bring the edge above where it needs to go, and then bring the corner back to match them. Similarly, if you have something like this, you can do the exact same logic. 
bring the corner down, bring the edge above where it needs to match up, bring the corner back up. So this can be a loading spot. Once again, as I showed, this can be a loading spot. So you can manipulate this around until it matches. Um, this can be a loading spot like that. So if you have the edge like this, you can go like that to match them up. So you don't necessarily always have to hide the edge and then bring the corner. You can hide the corner, bring the edge. Also, what I was trying to get at with this pair earlier is you can pair, you can build this anywhere on the cube. You can build it back here. You can build it back here. It's always the same thing. You just want to find ways to bring these two pieces together where they're going to pair. Um, so yeah, uh, there's the beginner insert like this, which is very good. And then there's also the beginner insert like that. But there's also a third insertion, and it's just one move away from the other one. It's when it's stacked vertically like this with white on top, and the color that's the same as this color is on the right. So here you can just do F2. And the way to set up with this is to pretend this is an edge loading spot. So if you mix this up a little bit... Okay, so if you have something like this... With this, you can either go like F prime to make this corner blue and then match them up, or you can go like this, put the edge over there, bring it to this loading spot, and then bring the corner back to match them up, and then you can do an F2. So overall, what we've learned so far is that one, you don't have to just use this as a loading spot for the edge, you can use this one, you can use this one, you can use this one, you can use this one. You can use this one, this one, you can use this spot, you can use this spot and set up the corner on top and do an F2 as a third type of pair like this. Also, you don't always have to build the pair in the back or in the front, you can build it in the bottom like this. So in a lot of cases, you're going to have this over here, and instead of doing M2 to build the pair on the top, you can match this up like this and be like that. So as you can see, there's a lot of different things you can do. So overall, you have to experiment with placing the corner different places. You can... As I said, you can use the corner as a loading spot. You can do so many different things. And I think I've showed you enough examples right here that you should be able to keep uh, experimenting with the cube, see how different things work. Like right here, these two. Um, it looks kind of ugly, but it's only three moves to pair. You can go F2 to bring them opposite, and then U2, and then RY2. And then they're paired in the back like that. So there's just, and then here again, uh, this with this. Uh, the way I would solve this is use an F move to bring this to the top. And now you're thinking, oh, white on top is bad. No. Remember the other edge loading spot? We can bring this edge here and then pair them up. So yeah, you can just experiment around with the cube, especially for first block. Just playing around with it, trying to find more efficient ways to do it. And keeping in mind all the things I said, so all the different edge loading spots everywhere, all the corner loading spots, you can hide them, you can pair them up sideways, you can pair them up in the back, in the front. There's just so many things you can do, and you can learn all of those just by experimenting and replaying this video to see some examples of how to do that. Also, if you want some more first block pairing tips, you can check out some example solves on my channel. Just search Rue Example Solves and you'll find that. But lastly, before we leave the first block and move on to second block, I'd like to comment on another way of block building, which is a bit more complex, but it's called the line. So instead of always making one pair with these, uh, the center and the D, uh, blue white, you can make, and then making these two, you can do it this one and then that and that, which is pretty self-explanatory. You don't always have to do white and then red and then orange order. You can do white, orange, red, but you can also do a line which is like this. So the way this works is essentially you try to get the two edges attached opposite, like this, the orange and the red. And then what you want to do is attach all the corners to this edge. So we can attach them like that, bring them there, and then here. I know Yuri Granjiro has a nice video about line block building on his channel, so if you want to check that out, I'll probably link it in the description if I can find it. But yeah, there's also half line block building where you don't have to build the whole line. You can just build half of a line. So here would be a good ex example of it. We have this half line type thing and all we have to do is pair up the, the corresponding orange blue edge with the blue center like this. And then we try to match this up with this. So we realize we can twist this around and then move that over. So that's another way of building. And then now... For the next pair, we can use this as a loading spot. So we can move the corner, bring the edge to where it needs to be, bring the corner back, 
swing it around, and then solve it. And that concludes first block, so just uh, go over everything I said, and now we'll move on to the second block. So basically everything I covered in first block also applies to second block. You don't always have to solve the green-white first, however that's what I almost always do because uh, it's just the easiest to keep track of and it makes it consistent. But you don't always have to use this as a loading spot. You can use the back as a loading spot. So see for these two greens, you can go like this. M prime to use that as a loading spot. Move this over, bring it back. Another way would be to use this as a loading spot for the corner. So you can move this here, hide the corner, move the edge, bring the corner back. So I think this is pretty self-explanatory once you've got the first block block building down but another thing you can do is let me see if i can set it up here just like this so in the beginner method whenever you have an, a corner or an edge stuck in the bottom uh what your instinct sh is to do is just like take it out normally and then figure out the loading spot thing but something sometimes having the corner or edge solved in place or twisted like this can be very useful because you can do things like this. You can say, why just take this out with no goal and have to deal with it later when you can take it out at the same time as matching it with the other piece that goes with it. So we notice here, if we have this here and this here, you can just go like R, U prime to pair them up back there and then R prime and then insert like this. And another thing you can do, which is kind of specific to second block, but you can do it in first block as well is Things like this with wide moves. There's a lot of pairs where, see, instead of just flipping this and then dealing with the loading spot case like that, what you can do is you can do both of them at the same time. So we realize we can flip the corner and bring the edge to the loading spot with just an R wide prime. And then that skips a step, and then we can just do U and then R wide, and now they're paired. And one thing I forgot to mention is that the pair types in second block uh, for intermediate and beginner block building are going to be the green on top, which you'd solve with wide moves, or the not green on top, so orange or red, which you solve like that. There's no like secret F2 uh, other type of pair here because you can't really do that. But yeah, second block, I think once you have the hang of first block down, it just comes down to experimenting with a lot of wide move solutions. Like here, you can do this just right directly instead of doing m prime r you can just do r wide or something like this this is a pretty advanced kind of case but you realize you can do r wide to separate that edge from the corner u2 and then now i think you can see when you bring this back down they're going to be ready for insertion so a lot of those more advanced second block cases uh, you can find their solutions to on my website, which I'll link in the description. Uh, it's actually always linked, but I'll just put the specific page. So for second block, I recommend just implementing the same tricks as first block, using all the different loading spots for corners and edges, hiding different pieces, trying to match them up uh, anywhere you can, as well as for second block, looking at my website to see all the different advanced solutions for some pairs. Let me see if I have anything left to talk about here. Uh, I think I essentially covered everything. So I hope this video gave you some insight on how to transition from beginner to intermediate block building. If you want some more clarification about a specific topic, uh, refer to example solves, um, my second block page on my website, as well as Yuri's line cases uh, video. Thanks for watching.